Hello, welcome to Tupike Show. My name is Davis Kamau, Chef Davis Kamau, currently at Kenya's leading city hotel, Fairmont the Norfolk. Today, we are preparing with you uh, beef tata, pan-seared halloumi, and prawns avocado. I hope you enjoy. The first meal for today shall be beef tata, whereby we have our ingredients right here. We have a beef steak, we have balsamic vinegar, we have an egg yolk, cherry tomatoes, crouton, onions, lemon juice, mustard, capers and oregano. For starters, we should start with the egg yolk. Place your egg yolk in a bowl. Grab a whisk. Break your egg yolk. As you continue breaking your egg yolk for about a minute or so, you can go ahead, add your lemon juice, a little lemon juice, mix it with the egg, go ahead and add the balsamic vinegar and the mustard. Just a little mustard, as mustard is very strong and shall change the taste of your meal. Mix your ingredients. Let it rest for a minute. Now go ahead and get your beef steak on a red board, so as red goes with red meat. Yeah, white board is for dairies, a blue board is for seafood. You go ahead and cut your beef into mini chunks, mini pieces. Make sure you get your meat from the right supplier, as a beef tartar is known as raw meat, but it's not raw. The lemon juice helps cook the meat. Also remember to use a sharp knife for better quality. As I had said earlier, cut your meat into chunk into small cubes. After cutting your meat, add your meat into the mixture. That's the end of using a whisk. Now you can go ahead and use a spoon. Add your capers to the mixture. Your shallot onions. Salt, not a lot of salt as mustard also has a bit of salt. Some black pepper and a bit of spring onions. Mix all your ingredients together. Let it rest for a minute. As it rests, we shall be preparing our garnish, which is cherry tomato and gooseberries. Sorry. Into a bowl. Add some salt, some pepper, some olive oil, and a little bit of thyme. Mix your mixture well. 
as we wait for that to mix, for the ingredients to go in, we shall have something called squid ink baguette. This is a baguette bread, but added squid ink inside to make it, to give it the black color. Get your baguette, slice, add some olive oil, both sides. Put it on a pan and let it crisp. A little bit more olive oil. Back to our mixture. It's well incorporated. Last thing you add inside, two things. Worcestershire sauce. Just a little, two drops, and Tabasco. Get your mixture mixed well. And now we are ready for plating. Using a knife, I shall create a pattern with some dust, some orange dust. We then have to get a mold to position and help hold our tata. Slowly scoop your tata. Don't scoop the juices as they will spread on the plate. As you do this, remember, you still have something on the stove your baguette bread, let it continue till crispy. So as you continue with that, you can now get your garnishes, the cherry tomato and the gooseberries, spread them around. We're done with that. Then you can have just a little bit of our balsamic glaze, also as a garnish, at the side. Our bread is good, is good now, it's done, it's crispy. Switch off your stove, you can have it. There it goes, as crispy as it can get. Place it on top of the tata. Then you're going to finish it off with some olive oil and some greens called microgreens. And there we go. We have our beef tartar. Welcome back guys, for now we're going to do two items at a time. We're going to have the prawns avocado and the grilled and the pan seared halloumi. For the pan seared halloumi, all you have to do first is season it, salt, pepper, oregano and some olive oil. Rub it against each other, make sure all the seasoning is good, is good and is everywhere. A little bit more oregano. Perfect. Now you're going to place it on a warm pan. Not so hot as the cheese will melt, but on a warm pan, the cheese slowly gratinates on the outside.
add a little bit of the olive oil inside. As you can see, the cheese is browning. Give it a minute. Then, using a scraper, get to get the cheese from below and turn it. The heat is a bit too high. Perfect. Good. There goes the halloumi, perfectly brown, perfectly seasoned. We can let it rest a bit so as the temperatures can rise till the middle of the halloumi. As it rests, we shall be able to do the prawns avocado. Change of gloves as we're handling different foods. Sorry. <laughs> now we're here to our prawns. These are the skewers we're going to use to skewer the prawns. For the prawns, we have salt, pepper, and a little bit of lemon juice. Some more lemon juice. Rub your prawns well together. Then before putting them in a pan, you can have some little olive oil. And as well, some little olive oil on the pan too. Now we get to our skewers. Fold your prawns and skewer them. On a hot pan, place your prawns. Get down with this. Change of glass. Prawns are very sensitive, so you have to make sure that they're well cooked. We can add some little more olive oil. Give it a minute, turn the prawns. Depending on the size of the prawns, prawns are very easy to cook because they get ready very quick. Again, a little more olive oil. As your prawns are about to get ready, you can add some little more flavor into them. This is by adding some chopped parsley, some butter, and some lemon juice. So, we start with the lemon juice. You can throw the lemons inside, some little bit of butter. And some parsley. Some little bit of salt and pepper to add on to the taste. Turn your prunes so as the flavors can get on both sides. We 
you can baste your prunes with the fluids that come from that. Like that, your prunes are ready. Now we get to the plating. With a spoon and a small palette knife, you get to spread some avocado mousse. Avocado mousse which is made from ripe avocado, uh, salt, pepper, parsley, orange juice and lemon juice. Take a scoop of that, place it on the board. Spread it. Get your prunes off the skewers. Watch out, they're really hot. So, arrange your prunes. You can use the prone heads as a decoration for your prunes. We also have some sliced rolled cucumbers into a bowl, some little olive oil to give it a gloss. Sprinkle some parsley on top and some little herb salad. Herb salad which consists of parsley leaves, dill and basil. Into a bowl, some little olive oil. some microgreens, sprinkle it randomly. We also have some feta cubes. And done. There goes your prawns avocado. So now we go to the plating of the halloumi. Pick your halloumi. Place it at the center of your. Some balsamic glaze on top of your halloumi. some herb salad. Always remember salt and pepper to season. Some apricots glazed in uh, what you call maple syrup. Then we finish off our halloumi with a garnish of a coral twill and a candied orange. There you go, your pan seared halloumi. Our menu for today consisted of seared halloumi, prawns avocado, and beef tata. Thank you for joining me. 
You can find us all. You can find this at Fairmont in Norfolk. Till next time, enjoy. <laughs>